This is an Odyssey 560 Pursuit. It's a brand new aluminium rib to the UK market. It's based, the company's based down on the, on the Hamble on the south coast of England. And we're gonna do a full walkthrough tour of it right here, right now. So stay tuned. Before you get started, check out our Parker Adams Superstore with loads of main brands for upgrading your boat, such as Raymarine, Garmin and Fusion. Check it out after this video. Hi, I'm Jonathan Parker from Parker Adams Boat Sales and today we're here near our office, which is just behind you, just there, down at the very end of the River Hamble on the south coast of England to show you this brand new rib from Odyssey Boats. It's a aluminium hull and top sides. Um, with really chunky Hyperlon tubes, and it's a 5.6 meter ribs, the first one they've ever produced. And they are selling this as a pre-production model, fully CE certified with a brand new Yamaha 115 on the back with full warranty, with the fantastic Extreme trailer as well. Um, this is the first, this their first foray into it. The actual hull was built abroad and then Port into the UK and then completely fitted out in the UK from the upholstery to the engine fitments and all the electronics. Um, but what I really like is the chunkiness of this for a 5.6 meter. As you look at it, when you first look at it, you think it's a much bigger rib. And this really will give you the benefits when you're out in a rough sea of displacing the water. So this is a really, really good ride and a quick boat as well. Um, they actually got this up to 42 knots out on the water. So a really good um, little fast rib as well. Uh, but ideal to tow around. Being a 5.6 metre, it's absolutely ideal to tow around. And it does have some benefits if you come around the back. Um, we've got these extended platforms on the back. And on the port side, you can see there's a bathing ladder. And then we can see this really nice 115. Um, it's being a new boat, and it's not been registered yet, so you get the full benefit of the five year warranty on Yamaha if you were to purchase this. But we can also see it's got the synthetic, um, and it's like the soft foam um, decking on here. And we sell a product called Vasadec, which is very similar. Um, but as we look around, we can see actually the aluminium doesn't just, isn't just the hull, it's not just the top sides, but it's also the frames as well. So the frames are bolted and very nicely fitted. I like the curvature on here, which is bolted to here. So you can remove it if need be. Um, and also um, what I really like is the console. The fact that the grab rails and everything are actually welded to the consoles. I really like this. And it's just very, very sturdy. It's a very, very sturdy boat indeed. Um, I'm gonna jump up in a sec, but I just wanted to show you the trailer as well. It's a roller trailer. As we come brake to roll the trailer. And again, this has a three year warranty when it was new. So it's got about two and a half years left on it. Cause it says a pre-production model. So they've been using it for the last few months just for testing. Um, but you can actually see now the aluminum hole in the welds and the protection on the bow here, which is nice. And even the eyes are welded on. So very, very strong, solid boat. Um, there's grab handles around and I particularly like this bow roller you don't often get it on a boat of this size but very nice for dropping the anchor across so you don't damage the tubes when you're lifting it in and out um, i'm going to jump on board my athleticism and we'll pop around the front and you can see this deck is throughout um, and then we've got the little suicide seat which is quite a nice addition here um, as well as there's a nice seat just up the front as well. So you can have very comfortably at anchor, you can just sit around just having a nice time. Of course, the tubes also can be used as seating and there are grab handles all the way around, which you don't often see them like this um, anymore, but there's nice grab handles all the way around. Um, and then there's storage as well. So not forgetting you've got a nice lot of storage. They've even gone to the trouble to put the, um, to put it down, to put the soft flooring in here as well. So things don't rattle around. Um, and the storage up the front as well which I can undo that one there we go and it's also access to the fuel tank filler as well so the fuel tank filler is there and the vent is just here um, so you can have anchor storage in there as well as you obviously can see the pumps there as well and um, there's welded in eyes around the deck so we can use these to strap things in, but also we can lift 
the boat from these eyes as well. So you don't have to strop the boat, you can lift them from the eyes that are welded around. If we go to the back, you can see them here as well. So we've got lifting eyes for the boat, which is very useful for when you, if you do need to lift it off with a crane. Um, there is storage in the back. Again, quite a large storage area. And then goes back into the bilge. And then, and then the batteries and the battery switches are in here as well. Um, but all in all, I think they've done quite a good job on the first one. There's even cup holders in it. They've even welded this into the back with cup holders on. And then we can work our way up into the helm. I do like this uh, position. It's, um, it's not the biggest seat in the world, so you'd be struggled to get two people sat on here. Um, it is probably a single, but you can have two people at the helm when the seat is in its upright position. And you can have two people at the helm then. But I would say, with the bench seat at the back, and the option of sitting on the tubes and um, the actual for a single person at the helm it's actually a nice it's a nice position footrest as well um, nice steering and the controls um, just nicely to hand and because you are more central seated you get the full protection from the console and the windscreen and again i do like the fact the frame is all the way around the screen so it protects the screen as well from people getting on and off the rib as you would you would naturally grab hold of this if this wasn't here the next thing you grab hold is the screen and that's when they get broke so i do like the fact that, it, that it's got this nice i do like the curvature of this as well that and you can double this because it's welded on um, you can double it as a cleat as well so when you do want to tie onto a pontoon, you can actually use this because it's a strong point. Um, so again, it's something that you lack on a lot of ribs. It's actually just a middle rope just so you can quickly tie on to a cleat on a pontoon without having to jump on and off. So single-handed, very, very easy to use. Um, and then they've gone for the option though, the digital display for the Yamaha controls. And we've got a nice Garmin chart plotter as well. So a nice system and with the complement of the VHF, the fixed VHF as well um, in there. So it's very, very neat. Um, it's got automatic bilge pump and it's also got a USB charger as well. Um, so there's a USB socket here that you can charge up your phone. Um, um, so all, all, all in all, very easy to see, very close. Everything is close to hand as well. So it is a nice finish. I would say it's a pre-production model. It's, um, it could do with um, a few little improvements. And one of the main things I'd say is probably things like the hatches could probably do with decent seals around them, um, which is something they will do on the next model. And then the Odyssey are a developing company. They're a young chap straight from university. And this is their first foray into boating. And this is their first model. Um, but I think it's built very, very well. Um, with the engine on it and it's good performance, very good sea boat um, that will improve over the years. So this boat probably is a one-off. You probably won't see this exact model again, um, but for use out in the Solent, it's absolutely perfect. Um, really good little boat, not forgetting you're getting a full warranty on the engine and the warranty on the trailer. The hull itself, um, being a pre-production model, doesn't, it won't come with a warranty itself, but you can see what you get. Hyperlon tubes, welded aluminium, great, great little boat. So don't miss it. Um, but I think that's all we can talk about with this today. But a fantastic boat from Odyssey Boats based in Hamble. So please come and see our website, parker-adams.co.uk, if you want to see more information on this boat and the price. Very, very keen price being a pre-production model as well. So please come and see that. And um, subscribe to our channel. Come and see all our other videos. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye but please get in touch about this great little boat. Bye-bye.